So we're back from the episode of Believe in Voigt with a brand new team that does feature a Salazzle. Some people have been asking me to feature a Salazzle team on Believe in Voigt, so here is one. This is a team that I built with one of my students in a Metafy coaching session. So if you are interested in getting a coaching session yourself, then the link is down in the video description. Absolutely shameless. So yeah, this is a team that we built. They wanted to build around Salazzle and then it ended up going into this team. So we start with Salazzle. Obvious partner is going to be High Dragon because then you can make use of the Acid Spray very nicely as well. It's got Fake Out, so we added some support uh, setup Pokemon uh, like the Bell Drum Azumarill, the Nasty Plot Goldengo, and the Dragon Dance by Excalibur. And then you've got the Redirection as well with the Toad Scroll. This also ends up being very similar to a team that was built by uh, Soy Palo that ended up using four of the same Pokemon. They used a Perish Song Azumarill as well, but then Guillermo Castilla ended up using it for the last few tournaments, uh, the last World's Runner Up, used it in a few tournaments that they went into as well. So I'm going to link that, uh, that team and the that team's original creator in the description as well. But this is the, the version that we built in the Metafy coaching session. So if you're interested in using this team, the team ID is in the top right there, as well as in the video description with a poker paste, as well as the Metafy, if you're interested in the coaching. Absolutely shameless. Let's get into some battles. Okay, reasonably hard trick room. I think this is a rental, because I feel like I've seen this kind of stuff before. Like, I definitely feel like this is a rental. So, Salaz was very good here. Toad School's very good here. Because um, I'll win the fake out war. I don't know, I know I won't because they're Ferrograph. Okay, that won't work as well. So Toad Scroll is going to be very good to lead then. Um, Hydreigon is very strong. It's just the Hariyama mainly that you need to worry about. I reckon it's worth going with the Zoom Roll and Toad Scroll because then I, they, I force the Spore or Belly Drum to be stopped and one of them is good for me. So, I will bring the High Dragon, it's very good. Yeah, the Ferrigarath is putting me off the Slazzle here. Goldengo is fine. But it's shut down quite easily, so I might just bring the back Scalibur, I think. Of course I'll bring back Scalibur. It's the best. <laughs> so, Torko going to be able to shut down, not, not so much shut down, but neuter my... Uh, plus six Aqua Jets is going to be a little bit awkward, but I can still get plus six Play Roughs. And they've copied my trainer card. Still need to do mine. So they did go with Harry Yama and Frograph. Now are they safety goggles on the Frograph? I think it might actually be better to spoil the Harry Yama. Because then if I get the Spore into the Harry Yama before the Flame Orb activates, then that's very nice. So, a good thing is going to happen here. And if they don't fake out, then... Alright, fine. But now I'm in plus six as Imrel, so... Even if they trick room, that's fine. So, I'm very confident that a Frogarath cannot KO my um, Azumarill in one. I don't think I want to... Yeah, there is just Trick Room, so I can't Aqua Jet yet, I need to take care of the Frograph first. But, are they Flame Orbs? They are Flame Orbs, but I... Mm, no, I'm not Citrus Berry on the Toad Scroll. So I am likely going to be 8 KO by the combination. But I don't think Azumarill is threatened here too much, so I'm going to attempt to... I'm going to attempt to reverse the Trick Room, and I will play rough the Frograph. Because if I take care of Ferrograph, that opens up Aquajet. So this will hurt. And KO, apparently. Okay, I overestimated the bulk on Toad Screw there. I guess I've taken Fake Out chip damage as well. So that is something. Now how fast is the Ferrograph? Is it min speed? No, I am the speed. That's good. So yeah, now Aquajet has been freed up. And the Hariyama has close combated as well, so it is minus defense. Even in the sun, I should be able to KO that. So either of them would be fine here. Because I can just go for a double protect on this turn of Trick Room. Yeah, I'll go into High Dragon here. That's going to be Talk Golds now. Yeah, that's fine. Because there's three turns of Trick Room left. So if I double protect here... I can go for a Focus Energy and an Aqua Jet into the Hariyama next turn. 
Yeah, that should be fine. I will just double protect here. If they got faint, oh no. But that's uncommon on Hariyama. You kind of need white guard. I, I would be surprised if faint is has space to be put onto Hariyama. But it's still a very justifiable move. So that would be the only downside. Because I could have just gone for Aqua Jet here. But even if they faint, that's not the worst thing. I'll just take an eruption that's not that bad. Maybe a solar beam. But this is fine. Just don't have faints and then we're definitely sorted. I say definitely. I shouldn't say in absolutes. But yeah, that's just an eruption. That's not going to do much. So. It might be worth considering aqua jetting the... Um, might be worth aqua jetting the Torkoal just to reduce the uh, damage output there. Because aqua jets... Aqua Jet should still KO just the Hariyama, right? Because then I don't really care about Eruption. But then if I... I could Terra into the Fire type. But then I've just seen how strong that Hariyama is. So I don't trust that, actually. Um, don't know if it's worth fo worth Focus Energying because it could be Masquerade in the back. But then if it is... No, I just I just want the damage into the, the Torkoal, I think. So I will draw Draco Meteor into the Torkoal. I will Aqua Jet assumedly KO the Hariyama that is minus defense. Okay, this this is this is good. This is very good. It was just King Gambit, that's fine. This should KO. Because minus defense is on top of that. So Oh wow, Hydragon connected the Draco Meteor. That never happens and that was a crit straight away even without the focus energy. Well done, Hydragon. Well done. So, yeah, this this is looking pretty good. So, optimal way of dealing with this. Assumedly, my Azumaru outspeeds their King Gambit. So, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of the guarantee. Like, there's definitely a guaranteed way to win here, right? It's still last turn trick room, isn't it? I will double protect here. And then I will Aqua Jet and Heat Wave for the next turn, I think. So I'm not too threatened by Eruption. Okay, yeah, they're using the Terra now, that's fine. <coughs> Just the expected one on the Torkoal, that's fine as well. I think actually Aqua Jet into Torkoal and Focus Energy is better, because then I get rid of this minus special attack drop. And then Heat Wave definitely KOs the King Gambit. I'm, I, I don't think... Plus 6 Aqua Jet doesn't KO Torkoal, right? In the sun. It really shouldn't. It might KO the King Gambit. I don't think it will. I think if I Terrestrialized it would. But I think the optimal play is just Aqua Jet into Torkoal and Focus Energy. set that is definitely picking up on Hydreigon. And it is entirely reasonable, but yes, there we go. That That's game over. I don't get to find out if plus six Aqua Jet would KO Torkoal, but I don't think it would. But that was still a very comfortable position indeed. Okay. We've got a lot of support there. I've, no, I've, I've seen this team, haven't I? I think it was a Chinese player that made this. Pretty sure it's a Chinese player. So, yeah, there's a lot of support. So they focus really hard on the Meowth's Crowd of Gold and go to Annihilate. So... Right. Hydragon is pretty good here. I'm going to go with Celestial Hydragon, I think. Um, I do like my old uh, my own Gold and go here. Because it is a max speed one, so it should outspeed Annihilate and their, and their Gold and go. But then they can Tailwind, so... That could be a thing. And then finally, Baxcalibur is fine. Yeah, Baxcalibur is, is not too bad. Azumarill is you know, kind of iffy. And Toad Scroll. Toad Scroll is also fine, but I think I will go with Baxcalibur because, of course, it's the best Pokemon in the format. So. <laughs> 
yeah, if they if they leave with Murkrow, then I just I'm just gonna accept Tailwind and ignore the Murkrow. Because then that wouldn't be on, that would be an opportunity to um, fake out the thing next to the Murkrow and focus energy, and then I can do a lot of damage in that regard. If it is one of the ghosts, then instead I will just encore the Murkrow turn one. I think. <coughs> Or if it's Gold Bengo, I might immediately overheat so that I can reset Fake Out in the future. Ooh, that's a cool training card. Might be worth actually going for Terra Fire, Heat Wave, and um, overheat immediately if it's Gold Bengo Macro. But of course, it is Mouse Hold and Annihilate. So. Right. So that's allowed Speed's Mouse Hold. So it might be worth going for Fake Outs and... Okay, if they turn into a Ghost, that's not ideal. Hmm, I didn't think about this lead enough, did I? I'm going to double into the Mouse Hole, I think. I think it's worth taking care of it, because if they bulk up, then I can Encore them. They are immediately Terrestrializing. Is this going to be a Ghost-type mouse hold? It is a Fire-type. Water-type on the Annihilate. Okay, that's fine. I could have gone for Fake Out into the... Did I go for Fake Out? Oh, no, I did go for Fake Out into Mouse Hold. So I am going to be able to do this. Because they did not protect. So, Draco Meteor, do your thing, please. Thank you kindly. Well done. This should KO, right? That did not KO. That's quite important. But it is just Rage Fist. Okay. Well, at least I can take care of the Mouse Hole here. And I can go for a Focus Energy. If they Drain Punch, it will do some reasonable damage, but I think that's okay. I mean, that's fine. So long as I survive a Drain Punch here, I'm still okay. I mean, I do survive up a Drain Punch, so... You know. Um, Focus Energy is going to be nice. I'm going to get crit into the um, Annihilate. So that's what I want to be able to Encore. And I'm not going to be able to because I have to attack the Mouse Hold. So I'm still going to Acid Spray into the Mouse Holds. Did they have a Steel in the back? They did. They had Goldengo. Is it worth going for Overheat for the Pivoting? With the opportunity to miss. Because it also covers a Goldengo switch in. But I don't think that actually matters too much. Because... If they do switch into it, then I'll just Heat Wave in the next turn. I bought back Scalar on the back. I don't want to Terrestrialize. So... Okay. That Acid Spray was, was fine then. That's okay. Now this Draco should hurt the Annihilate a lot. Of course it does not, because why would it? Because Hydreigon loves going for Draco Meteors, doesn't it? <sighs> I don't know, like, am I, am I cursed with Hydreigon in, in this, in this Believing Boy? Like, what's going on? Why, why is this a thing? So, at least I can go into Goldengo, and I can Encore them into Drain Punch. But then, now we've got the Miascarada to deal with. And that outspeeds and KOs my Salazzle. So that would have been absolutely lovely to get the KO into that. Um, into the... Oh, I, would, I don't know if it would KO, but like that chunk of damage would have been lovely. That's okay. That could have been worse. So, yeah, not ideal. But, at least they can't Drain Punch my Goldengo at the moment. But it would have been absolutely lovely to have been able to get that KO if the Draco Meteor would have connected. But apparently not. Because breaking through this um, Annihilate is going to be quite tricky now. I 
I will attempt to overheat, and I will nasty plot, but then they can just knock off my regular Goldengo. No, I think I still need to. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm in a losing position now. Like, if I'd have just hit the Draco Meteor, I'd have been somewhat okay. But I need to be able to threaten damage into the Annihilate, and I don't think I'll be able to. But this is actually a way to be able to, so they're giving me a way back into the match. Thank you very much. Although now they're going to be drain punching my switching in back Scalibur. But at least I'm overheating an Amoongus, so that's not the worst thing. Because that's almost a KO. Very impressive, Slazzle. Well done. So actually, this is not... This 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 is alright, right? Because right? Backscalable should survive the Drain Punch. And then I'll be able to Terror Blast KO the Annihilate. It's locked into... Locked into Drain Punch. This, this doesn't KO my Bulk of Backscalable, right? Surely not. Yeah, bulky by Excalibur. They're back to full HP, but they're only plus one. So I think I do need to Terra Blast and make it rain. And hope that that is enough to KO this Annihilate. If it is not, I am not looking good. If it is, I can beat the Meow Skarada. Also, if they protect with the Amoongus, that could be a bit awkward as well. But definitely still possible. <clears throat> Actually, no, that would be, still be alright. As long as I KO the Annihilate this turn. Because next turn I can Icicle Spear and make it rain, and then that's guaranteed. So, so long as this KOs the Annihilate, I'm okay. Oh, that did way less than I was expecting. This is not going to KO. Yeah, this this isn't going to do it. It would have been nice to get that Draco Meteor into the Annihilate. Not quite. But that should be make it rain range, even with this Drain. Oh, are they le were they lefties? Can't remember if they were lefties or not. Because they're going to be able to protect me as Karada on my Slazzle. They'll be able to knock off KO either Pokemon at this point. So. I guess I could just go for Shadow Ball now, don't I? But they can protect the. Um, Annihilate. Then there's no real punish at that point. I guess I could Encore the Amoongus into Protect and Shadow Ball the Annihilate, but then if they just Rage Powder this turn, which they probably should do, then that's not ideal. I guess I can Fake Out and Nasty Plot again, but that still doesn't help me. No, it still doesn't help me. I'll just ask this Spray and I'll Shadow Ball. I'm trying to think if there's a better punish to the protect on the Annihilate, because they should protect on the Annihilate. There's no reason not to. Okay, so no, I need to play for them being an Adam. Oh, okay, fine. I need to play for them being an Adam and Meow Sparada now. Because if they are, Slazzle out speeds, and then I win. So... Because this KOs. The fact that they have Protect surely means that they are Sash on the Meow Skarada. If they're not Sash on the Meow Skarada, then I can still do it as well. Because I reckon that the single target Maker Rain will also KO. So... Yeah. Or am I, am I I'm neutral, right? Yeah, I am neutral, so... Yeah, no, Overheat's better, because that would just Oko if they're not. Like, if they're not Focus Sash, and they're not Adamant, they, they do outspeed. But, are they going to be Focus Sash? That's the important thing. Because if they're Focus Sash, they win. And if they are not Focus Sash, then, you know, I could win as well. Let's get the burn with Overheat. They were Focus Sash, so, very close. I don't think there was too much else I could have done there. But that was... The important thing there was the Draco Meteor miss. 
Like, Draco Meteor missing was very killer. Because if it connected, I'm just absolutely sorted. Like, Baxcalibur beats Meowskarada and Amoongus every single day. But that missing was very bad. What? Why would you do that? What? <laughs> Knock off KOs me even without my item, right? Oh, I'm going to do that cap right now. Like, like what? That, that was a way to end the game. Uh, do they KO me? Like, I strongly suspect they do. Right? Knock off, no item. 270 something. Uh, knock off. Oh, it wouldn't have KO'd, right? No, reflect up for some reason in the cap. Oh, it was a roll way in their favor. So, yeah. They went for Overgrow Flower Chick, but okay, fine. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I will absolutely take it. That, that, that makes up for the Draco miss. Okay, pretty standard. And there's a Brello. So. Slazzle's a pretty good lead here. Also, Toad Scroll's a pretty good lead here. But if I go Toad Scroll and they match me with Breloom, then we're both sleeping. So I think I'm going to attempt to go a Zoom Roll Slazzle. I can Belly Drum in front of everything except the Breloom, and then I can fake that out. Uh, oh, the Goldengo. Goldengo would be the one I can't as well, because they'll do enough damage that it's pointless. But then I could Terrastalize with the Azumarill straight away and Belly Drum. That could be okay. But I do want to bring back Scalibur. I do want to bring Hydreigon. I'm not a fan of my own Goldengo here. Even though it hard counters the Breloom. I think I'm going to bring both my dragons. Hmm. Actually, no. I'm going to leave with Baxcalibur instead of Azumarill. I will still bring Azumarill and bring a High Dragon. I think it's easier to set up the Baxcalibur on the first turn than Azumarill is. <clears throat> lots, of, lots of sleeping Pokemon selfies in Trainer cards. Just not in mine. Uh, that's not terrible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Encore the Murkrow, and I'm going to switch into my Azumarill. So I should have led with the Azumarill. Bit of a shame I didn't, but this is okay. I would be very surprised if they Draco Meteor the Salazzle. That would seem like a waste of their special attack drop. Of course, I'm encoring, even though the Merc under speeds me because they'll practice a Tailwind, assumedly, first. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, because then you take on the, um, the dragon you're facing down better. But that's fine, I've got that out of the way pretty quickly. And it is poison, okay, that, that's the one I didn't want to see, because that can hit a zoom rail. There's an Encore to Tailwind, so that's okay. And it is just Draco Meteor, so that is also okay. But Encore Tailwind is very nice. Now, assumedly, they got Terra Blast on the... Um, on the High Dragon. But in the same vein, they could be Choice Specs. So if they don't have a poison type attack, slash they are choice specs, Azumarill is in a brilliant position. If they do have Terra Blast, then that means that I get the overheat damage into the Hydreigon that would be very nice as well. So I'm still going to attempt to Belly Drum. Like, they always have to switch Murkrow here. So this is a free turn for either Celestial or Azumarill. It is a real shame I did not overheat that. But that looks like they might be specs to me. So Azumarill is not too bad here. Um, it wouldn't have made a difference which one I overheated, because obviously I lose the Slazzle. But, yeah, I get a Belly Drum. 
And now... I am going to go into Backscalibur here, and it is going to be whether they predict the Backscalibur um, or the Azuma will protect or not. Because if they spore my Backscalibur and Draco Meteor it, that is a very good play. But I'm going to hope that they feel forced to go for the um, the Spore slash Bullet Seed into the Azumarill. Because, like, they may be able to see a double KO and just take it. It just depends if they are of the caliber of player to be able to predict to protect on the Azumarill and Spore the Backscalibur instead. Because if they don't, and I play rough the Breloom, then Azumarill is just going to win. So it is a risky play, but it is obviously the correct one, given what I am going for. Like best case is attack from Breloom into Azumarill. Because I Oko Breloom through the Satchel. They might feel comfortable going for that as well without the prediction because I may not have Ice Cold Spear. So let's see. Is Draco Meteor will hurt? Oh, just Mac Punch. I'm fine with that. Like, okay, cool. They they call this, but that's fine because I survived this. <sighs> I might curse with Draco Meteor or something. Like, like, come on. Give me a break, Draco Meteor High Dragon. It's even in the reverse this time. I know I crit right at the beginning of the, of the episode, but come on. Oh, now I just lose, right? Because I've lost my Terrestrialization. High Dragon still gets KO'd to Draco Meteor. Yeah, there, there's, there's not much hope here. I will Heat Wave on the last turn. I will attempt to double protect, but you know. That can happen. <laughs> and they're not even going to be the Scope Lens one. That's rude. I mean, if I get the double protect, I'm still in it if I get the double protect. I'm not still in it. So now they just KO me with Bullet Seed, so yeah. Like, they, they, to be fair to them, they did not attack the Azumarill. And they needed the, the Mac Punch chip with the, like, I'll survive, I'd, I'm pretty sure I'd survive the critical hit Draco Meteor without the Mac Punch chip. So to be fair to them, they made the correct prediction. So I'm not going to fault them on that. Get the burn. Make it up for it. Even though it won't make a difference because they'll just try KO me. Oh, never lucky. So, yeah. That that was... Like, I, I can complain about the RNG of the critical hit, but they made the correct play. So, you know. I guess, I guess that's RNG rewarding them for making the correct prediction. Because if I if I attack with a zoom reel on that turn, I do immediately win. Because I would have broken the Sash on the Brelum and put it in Aquajet range. They can't really deal with my Azumarill much anymore. Oh, well, to be fair, they could, because they switch out the, the High Dragon. Oh, and they've got Micro as well. They can foul play me at plus six, and they can haze me. So actually, I take back everything I said. So they made a good play, and they get rewarded by a critical hit. So, it's fair enough. The absolute best play was obviously protect back Scalibur and Aqua Jet the, um, the Brelum. That would have been absolutely baller, but... Yeah, it's obviously quite easy to complain about the critical hit, but don't forget that they made the correct play, which was a good prediction. So, all credits then. But it's something like, like I'm cursed with Draco Meteor. I don't know why. Like, like based on the epi these episodes, something's up with Draco Meteor for me, specifically with High Dragon. Maybe if I try, try a different dragon, that might help. 